What's up guys? So this is my long anticipated 1.5 ton Kubota engine joystick control model. Uh, we have, I have been on this project for over a year now and finally I received my prototype. And um, as you can see the package is a little damaged. For some reason there were so many extra pieces of plywood. Someone put it on there and kind of crushed it. Um, so some damages. I couldn't start the uh, a key ignition. But you know, I'm just a uh, little things that the manufacturer will send me parts and I'll uh, replace it. So I'm heading out to um, Dave's place and he's also a YouTuber. Behind me is my long anticipated um, joystick control uh, entry level excavator uh, with Kubota engine. I'm also going to bring to show him and uh, just get his feedback. Um, yeah, and then we'll do another video on that uh, later on. Okay, let's go. And what we see here is Dave is actually test drive the excavator and um, this particular piece, uh, piece of equipment has a pattern switch so for the control so he is used to the backhoe control which is uh, convenient for him now we can just do a switch and uh, the reason why I have the switch is because I do have other operator use this I let uh, my subcontractors or friends, plumbing guys, uh, concrete guys, sometimes they don't need to use an excavator, they could just use mine. So that's why I have the uh, pattern switch. And um, you see that I have the cover off because I have to use a uh, bypass switch, um, starter switch to start the engine because the uh, key ignition was damaged in the shipping. So I couldn't turn it. But no big deal. These machines are so simple that you can just uh, bypass and just switch without any problem. Over here you see previously, if you have not checked out that video, please do so. Uh, I did a video just featuring that Rhino excavator that Dave had and uh, he used it extensively on his property. And um, it is a very hilly property and you can do amazing things. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the excavator up there and uh, do a testing. This Kubota diesel uh, joystick control excavator has been my project from the very start. I want to make a excavator that's powerful enough to dig about five six foot deep trench and yet small enough that I can just haul in the back of a pickup uh, so I don't I don't have to haul the uh, trailer around and so here it is uh, I'm very happy um, it's just a few things that need to get corrected with the uh, manufacturing. Dave is doing the testing of the hydraulic thumb with his foot control and having foot control is particularly useful when you are doing your digging operation and uh, this place has a lot of rocks um, in the uh, soil. So this excavator is also showing plenty of power uh, when doing the uh, digging operation. And now Dave is gonna switch, hit the switch button and he's gonna be able to control the boom swing. So his Rhino excavator doesn't have a boom swing control so he's just kind of playing around with it, uh, just getting used to it. So this particular model um, should have a uh, you know left and right foot control for the thumb and the boom swing but the factory somehow decided not to do it without telling me I mean I want a one single foot pedal control but it's operated uh, by a diverter valve uh, on a switch so which is not very smart because sometimes when we need to uh, both uh, function at the same time so I turn a little too hard and perhaps rocks got into it and uh, the truck can loose. So I need to put it back and um, we tried a few, few times with, uh, just try to run the uh, wheels over it. So we tried a few times and it didn't work. Um, now our only resolution is take out the cover right there, uh, release the grease and uh, release the tension. So we got it in and a lot of grease came out. So basically, What you see here is Dave backing down the excavator and you, when you back down you always want to boom up hill. And uh, he's also going to pause in a little bit and just to reactivate the backing up motion just to test how smooth it is against his XN08 because his XN08 doesn't have the counterbalance valve installed on the travel motor so he will always have a challenge of that um, running off feeling on his excavator. 
I have projects coming up that I may just use this one to do the trenching and uh, at that time I'll do a video for you guys and uh, if you have any questions comments please feel free to leave it down below and uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep updated because I'm also working on other um, um, machineries that uh, I'm just uh, excited to to be able to bring it in to show you guys in the near future yeah thanks for dropping by and uh, I'll see you next time take care